we talk about other things, trying to get you ready to be uh, prepared for when shit hits the fan. And we all know it's not when the zombie apocalypse happens. SHTF can happen at any time. It's uh, not just uh, the war of the worlds anymore. It can be anything like an earthquake or a uh, flood or any emergency that may come up. So if you look at it like that, it's pretty easy to know that you've got to be prepared no matter what. So today I want to talk about what you should carry in your bug out bag uh, in the form of medical supplies. Now, I'm personally not a nurse or a doctor or anything like that, but it's mostly just common sense what you really need to put together uh, to just carry around with you in case you should get stranded somewhere. So, uh, here we go. I, now, most of this stuff I want you guys to know you can get usually at the dollar store or uh, Walgreens or something like that. It's not going to cost you a ton of money or anything, so... As we go, you should just have a bag, like a duffel bag or anything, and just have it kind of uh, filled up with some medical supplies. And so what I have is you should probably have bandages in there, and they should be uh, all different sizes and shapes. Uh, uh, butterflies and just the regular ones, the large ones. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, another thing is you should have rolls of gauze. I mean, uh, when I talk about gauze, I'm not talking about those little plastic or paper uh, gauze packages they have that are folded up and you only get just a little bit. I'm talking about rolls of it so that uh, you can use it in any type of emergency. You could use it as a sling or whatever you need. So, rolls of gauze, and you should have them in different widths and sizes and stuff, and they should be rolls, not just little packets. Also, you should have uh, allergy medicine, because a lot of people anymore uh, in this day and age have allergies. So, you should probably just have some in there, you know, because you never know what's going to happen. Another thing would be uh, calamine lotion. This is a good thing to have because of the bug bites or whatever, you know, itching and scratching and all that stuff. Calamine lotion comes in handy for that. Also, you should have some sort of antibiotic ointment. And those come in little tubes and you get them at the dollar store or whatever. Dollar General, Dollar Store, Dollar Plus, whatever. Pretty inexpensive stuff. <coughs> Another thing should be uh, petroleum jelly. Uh, it makes good fire starter, but it also, you can put it on top of wounds and stuff to uh, stop the bleeding and whatnot. Okay, bug bite. You should get a tube of that bug bite stuff. I uh, think the last time I bought mine, it was like a buck, maybe a little bit over a buck. So, also, you need hand sanitizer. And that is what uh, you have to do. You have to stay clean before you administer medical attention. You have to make sure that you're kind of halfway clean anyway. Uh, waterproof medical tape. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's not that round cloth tape because you wrap that up and it gets wet and it starts falling off and stuff. But you can get rolls of that plastic medical tape and I'm telling you, it sticks pretty pretty hard. So if you get the waterproof kind, which is the plastic kind, it has a really good adhesive on it, you could uh, throw a roll of that in there and you know that you're going to be safe to be able to administer some first aid. So also let's talk about uh, the cling tape. They have uh, that cling tape out now and... It, I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's uh, kind of handy. It clings to itself. That's the reason that they call it cling tape. So, you know, you throw some of that in there. Maybe one or two rolls, you know, because you just never know what it's going to be coming down to. Also, you, what you might want to think about is throwing in some cough syrup. Cough syrup is uh, good for the coughs. It's good for you. Good to have for your kids. 
because you're going to have your kids with you and you want to make sure that uh, everybody in the family is being taken care of. Make sure he has some ibuprofen in the bag as well, you know. Uh, comes in for pain reliever, headaches, migraines, uh, different different kinds of aches and pains. Also, think about buying a box of that Airborne or that Vi uh what do they call it? Uh, uh, something C. Anyway, you can get boxes of it pretty inexpensively. And not only throw it in your medical bag, but uh, generally when you're making your uh, bug in pantry and stuff full of food and whatnot, I would make sure I had some of that on the shelves as well, several boxes of it, you know. So also think about having some sort of mucus expectorant. Uh, I myself, I have to use it every day. Not everybody has the same issues, but uh, I use it every day because it keeps my lungs clear. Um, here's something that most people won't even think about, but I have it on my list anyway, and that is finger and arm splints. Now, uh, the finger splints are going to be pretty inexpensive. You may have to... Uh, spend a little more for an arm splint or whatever but you could also if you were really desperate you could use make an arm splint just about out of anything if you're really out in the uh, woods or even alongside the road or whatever broke down and you were hurt you could still make a splint out of some tree branches or whatever so uh also another good thing and this is probably the last thing for today is tongue suppressors and they come in handy. You can make uh, splints out of tongue suppressors. So uh, I would have uh, 15, 20 of those in the bag too, you know. And you could have those also uh, in your home as your bug out uh, pantry thing. Uh, you know, if you're like me and you have a pantry at home, I don't have just food in there. I have all kinds of stuff. I have uh, medical supplies. I, I have uh, wipes and all that stuff, so these are all things that you're going to have anyway in your bug out location, so make sure you have some of those in your first aid bag as well, you know, so anyway, that's, I'm um, getting close to the end of my time limit that I put on myself for the videos, so we'll just stop at that, and uh, I'd like to talk about trauma bags maybe next time. Uh, I'm not a medical expert, but I've done some research, and you also need to have some stuff uh, for traumatic experiences and stuff like that. So that'll be for another video, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is I want to talk to you guys about uh, my mod squad. Now, I, I know that I have uh, uh, community supporters that I do every week, you know, for the people that support me. But I also have some people that are my moderators, and I like to call it my mod squad. So I'm just going to tell you who they are. I want you guys to support their channels. If you support me, I want you to support them because these people keep me in line. They keep me in line. They keep my subscribers in line. So uh, I'm just going to run them off real quick at the end of this video. And the mods are Sue Nelson, Walker Outdoors. He's the winner of the last contest. Green Bay Wacky, we all know the Green Bay. H Top Skills. Eric Hebert, very nice young man. JV Mama, Wes S, and Hoople's Cat. If I forgot you off the list and you're a mod in the Mod Squad, please let me know so I can get you in one of the videos. So everybody knows who you are and to come and support you. These are all my moderators and I call them the Mod Squad. So come and visit their channels. Support them. Give them a thumbs up. Share their videos just like you do mine. And be, show them some love. So i uh, got just a few seconds left here. So you guys know that I'm going to have an 1100 uh, subscriber giveaway. And uh, I'm coming up with the rules for that. I'll probably post those later today. 
So, until then, thanks for watching. Hope you guys really got something out of it. And uh, remember, God bless you, God bless me, and God bless USA. Thanks for watching. Till next time, catch you later.